All right, so you ready to dive into something a little different today? I am. Okay, perfect. I'm excited. Today we're going to be looking at Lawaf. Ooh, la la. And no, we're not talking about delicious breakfast treats. Right. Although the name might make you crave one. It does. But we're actually going to be talking about a fitness and wellness tool. Yeah. That's gaining a lot of traction mm -hmm. from pro athletes to everyday folks. That's right. Okay, so first of all, what is a Lawaf? Um, so it's an innovative approach to like improving your health and fitness by tapping into your body's natural systems. Okay. So it's all about working with your body and not against it. So paint me a picture. Okay. Imagine a super versatile inflatable cushion okay. that's designed to engage your body and mind in a whole new way. So I'm picturing almost like a balance disc sort of thing. Yeah, kind of like that, but with like different sizes and you can adjust the firmness to fit your needs. Okay. But here's where it gets interesting. Okay. Lawaf works by stimulating your nervous system. Ooh. Specifically through something called proprioception. Proprioception. Yeah. Okay, break that down for me. Okay, so think of it as like your body's internal GPS system. Okay. It's your awareness of where your body is in space. Okay. Even with your eyes closed. So like when you touch your finger to your nose. Exactly, exactly. Without looking. Yeah, that's proprioception at work. Okay. And so Lawaf enhances this sense by creating a slightly unstable surface. So it's like a controlled wobble. Yes, a controlled wobble. That makes your brain work a little harder to stay balanced. Exactly. Oh. And that extra effort activates muscles that you might not even realize you have. Okay. Which in turn improves your balance, coordination, and even your posture. So it's like a secret workout disguised as a comfy cushion. Yes, exactly. I like it. Yeah. But I've also been hearing some things about Lawaf helping with things like stress yeah. mm -hmm. and even sleep. Yes. How does that work? Well, you know, it's all connected back to the nervous system. By gently challenging your balance and providing support, Lawaf can actually tap into your parasympathetic nervous system, okay. which is the one that is responsible for rest and relaxation. Okay, so it's almost like you're tricking your body into relaxing. Yeah, exactly. Like that. making it work harder in a way. Yeah, it's like a gentle massage for your nerves, helping you to unwind and de-stress. I like that. Yeah. Now, I am someone who sits at a desk all day. Yeah. And I have a lot of back pain. Okay. Can Lawaf help with that? Absolutely. Okay. The Lawaf Mini is especially popular for back pain relief. Okay. Um, because it encourages like subtle movement and engages your core muscles while you sit. Okay. So it's like a mini workout for your back. While you're just sitting there? Yeah, strengthening those muscles and alleviating pain. Okay, so this is sounding really good. Yeah. I can see myself sitting on one as we speak. Yeah. But are there specific exercises that you do with Lawaf? Or is it more about just using it in different ways? Yeah, so you can definitely do targeted exercises. Okay. And there are even certified LAWAF instructors out there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that can guide you. Please. They've developed programs for like everything from balance training and strength building to core activation and flexibility. Wow. But you can also just incorporate it into your existing routine, like using it while you stretch or do yoga. So it's adaptable. Yes. You whatever right. you're already doing. Yeah. Whatever your fitness level is. Mm-hmm. I also keep hearing about this concept called soft gym. Yes. Tell me about that. So soft gym is all about using Lawaf to kind of explore gentle movements. Okay. And find new ways to challenge your body and mind. Okay. It's a less intense approach to fitness that focuses on like mobility, balance, and coordination. Okay. So it's a fantastic way to add variety and a sense of playfulness to your routine. Okay, so it's kind of like a more mindful approach. Yes, exactly. All right, so if someone is brand new to this whole Lawaf thing, mm -hmm. where would you suggest they start? If you're new to Lawaf, I'd recommend starting with the Mini. Okay. It's the most versatile size, and it's perfect for integrating into your daily life. Okay. You know, try sitting on it at your desk mm -hmm. or using it during your stretching sessions. Okay. You can even just place it behind your lower back for lumbar support. Cool. From there, you can, like, explore the different sizes and programs and see what kind of resonates with you. This is really fascinating. Yeah. I'm starting to get a much better picture of Lawaf now. Oh, good. It's a lot more than I thought it was at first. Yeah, yeah. I'm really curious to hear about some real-world examples now. Okay. Okay. Of how people are using it mm -hmm. to improve their well-being. Yes. Do we have any stories to share? We do. Okay. Awesome. And you might be surprised at the variety of ways that people are benefiting from Lawaf. Okay. For example, we have Amanda, a professional basketball player. Wow. Really? Yeah. Pro athletes are using this? Yeah, they are. 
She credits her Loaf routine for helping her recover from an ankle injury right. and even improve her game. So it's not just for like everyday wellness. No. It's for like high level athletes as well. Mm -hmm. What is she doing with it? So she worked with a renowned osteopath to create a program that uses both the mini and the max. Okay. So she does active exercises like squats and lunges okay. on the mini for strength and balance. Uh -huh. And then she uses the max for recovery and relaxation. Okay. She says it's helped her sleep better, too. Okay, so better sleep equals better recovery. Exactly. Now I'm picturing myself trying to do squats on, like, a wobbly cushion. Yeah. And I have to admit, I'm a bit skeptical. Mm -hmm. Like, does it really make a difference? It absolutely does. Okay. So the instability forces you to engage your core and, like, stabilizing muscles in uh, yeah. a way that you wouldn't on a stable surface. So you have to work harder. Yes, exactly. To stay balanced. Yeah, it's like adding an extra layer of challenge to your workouts, making them more effective. Gotcha. Okay, so I can kind of see that appeal now. Yeah. Even for athletes. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned everyday folks using it for well-being, too. Yes. Are there any stories on that side of things? Yes, we have a really inspiring story about Michelle. So? She's a woman in her 60s. Okay. Who was struggling with insomnia well, after a loss. Insomnia is so debilitating. It is. Especially when you're going through something like that. Yes. Okay, so what did she do? So she tried everything, okay, but nothing seemed to help until she discovered the Lawaf Max. She yeah. found that spending time on the Lawaf Max before bed, okay, helped her relax and prepare for sleep. Okay, so the gentle rocking and the support that it provides mm -hmm. calmed her nervous system and kind of eased her anxieties. Wow. She said it didn't erase her grief, but it allowed her to get more restful sleep, which made a big difference in her ability to cope. I could see that. Yeah. That's really powerful. Yeah. Kind of shows how something so simple can have such a profound impact yeah. on our well-being. Yes. What about stress? Yes. You know, a lot of people are dealing with chronic stress these days. They are. Can Lawaf help with that? Absolutely. Okay. We have a story about Nicholas. Okay. He's a busy executive mm -hmm. who was constantly stressed and sleep deprived. I know a lot of Nicholas's. Yeah, exactly. Okay. He discovered Lawaf and he now swears by it. Okay. He says whenever he's feeling overwhelmed, mm -hmm. he spends time on the max to just kind of de-stress and unwind. Okay. He even convinced his company to get Lawaf minis for the entire office. Really? Yeah. That's a cool boss. Yeah. I like that. That's a great idea. I could see how that would be helpful in like a high pressure work environment. Mm -hmm. But what about this soft gym idea? Mm -hmm. Can you give me an example of like a specific exercise? Of course. One simple but effective exercise is called the waffle roll. You sit on the Lawaf mini mm -hmm. and using your core muscles, you gently rock back and forth and side to side. Okay. So it's a playful way to massage your back and work your core at the same time. Okay. That doesn't sound intimidating at all. No, not at all. I like that. Yeah. Are there any downsides to Lawaf? Mm. Like potential risks or things that people should be aware of? It's generally very safe. But like any exercise program, it's always a good idea to consult with your doctor. Of course. Especially if you have any pre-existing conditions. Right. It's also important to start slowly and listen to your body. Yeah. You know, don't push yourself too hard. That's always good advice. Yes. You mentioned earlier certified LAWAF instructors. Mm. What exactly do they do? So LAWAF instructors have specialized training to develop safe and effective programs for like all levels and goals. Cool. So they can guide you through exercises, provide feedback, and help you stay motivated. Okay. They can also tailor your LAWAF experience to your specific needs. So if you're looking to improve balance mm -hmm. or strengthen your core or just find new ways to move your body. Exactly. Okay. That sounds like a really great resource. It is. So we've heard about pro athletes using it for training and mm -hmm. recovery, mm -hmm. people using it for sleep mm -hmm. and stress relief, Yep. and even companies incorporating it into the workplace. That's right. Is there anything else? There are. Okay. It seems like people are always finding creative new ways to use LAWAF. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Like what? For example, some people are using the Max as a meditation cushion. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. So the gentle instability can actually help you stay present and focused okay. during meditation. So it's like a little reminder to bring your attention back exactly. to your body mm -hmm. if you start to get lost in thought. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? 
Some massage therapists have started incorporating Lawaf into their practice. Really? Yeah. How are they doing that? Uh -huh. They found that the instability encourages deeper muscle relaxation. Okay. Which allows them to work more effectively. Wow. Yeah. So it's not just like a solo tool. Mm -hmm. It can kind of like enhance other practices as well. Exactly. Okay. So it really is a versatile tool for improving well-being. It is. On multiple levels. Yeah. And it just speaks to the power of working with our body's natural systems. Yeah. To achieve better health and well-being. I think that's a really important point. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm getting mm -hmm. from all these stories that it's not just about mm -hmm. like physical fitness. No. It's about like connecting with your body mm -hmm. and enhancing your awareness. Yes. And ultimately yeah. kind of living more fully in the present moment. That's a beautiful way to put it. I like that. Yeah. It's about embracing a more mindful and embodied approach to life. I love that. Yeah. Well said. Thank you. So we've come to the end of part one of our deep dive into the WAF. Wow. I'm feeling very inspired to try this out for myself. Me too. I hope you are too listening. Yeah. We'll be back in just a minute to continue our deep dive into Lu WAF. We do. Awesome. And you might be surprised at the variety of ways people are benefiting from Lawaf. Okay. For example, we have Amanda, a professional basketball player. Wow, really? Yeah. She credits her Lawaf routine for helping her recover from an ankle injury and even improve her game. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Pro athletes are using this? They are. That's impressive. Yeah. I thought it was more for everyday wellness. Right. But it's for high-level athletes as well. It is. That's cool. Mm -hmm. What are you doing with it? So she worked with a renowned osteopath to create a program that uses both the mini and the max. Okay. Um, she does active exercises like squats and lunges on the mini for strength and balance. Okay. And then uses the max for recovery and relaxation. Gotcha. She says it's helped her sleep better too. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Better sleep is crucial for recovery. It is. But, you know, I'm picturing myself trying to do squats on this like wobbly cushion. Yeah. And I have to admit, I'm a little skeptical. Yeah. Does it really make a difference? It absolutely does. Yeah. The instability forces you to engage your core and stabilizing muscles in a way you wouldn't on a stable surface. So you have to work harder. Yeah, exactly. exactly. To stay balanced. It's like adding an extra layer of challenge to your workouts, making them more effective. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm starting to see the appeal. Yeah. Even for athletes. <laughs> yeah. But you mentioned every day folks are using it for well-being. Right. Any stories on that side of things? Yes, we have a really inspiring story about Michelle. Okay. A woman in her 60s who was struggling with insomnia after a loss. Oh, wow. Insomnia can be so debilitating. It is. Especially when you're dealing with grief. So what does she do with it? So she tried everything, but nothing seemed to help until she discovered the Lawaf Max. Mm. She found that spending time on the Lawaf Max before bed helped her relax and prepare for sleep. The gentle rocking and support calmed her nervous system and eased her anxieties. Wow. She said it didn't erase her grief, but it allowed her to get more restful sleep, which made a big difference in her ability to cope. That's powerful. It is. It highlights how something so simple right. can have a profound impact on our mental and emotional well-being. Well, exactly. What about stress? Yes. I know a lot of people, myself included, are dealing with chronic stress these days. Mm -hmm. Can Lawaf help with that? Absolutely. We have a story about Nicholas, a busy executive who was constantly stressed and sleep deprived. I know a lot of Nicholases. Yeah, exactly. Okay. He discovered Lawaf and now swears by it. Okay. He says whenever he's feeling overwhelmed, he spends time on the max to de-stress and unwind. Okay. He even convinced his company to get Lawaf minis for the entire office. That's a great idea. It is. I can see how something like this could make a difference in a high-pressure work environment. Mm -hmm. I'm curious about this soft gym idea, though. Yeah. It sounds intriguing. Mm -hmm. But can you give me a specific example of what a soft gym exercise looks like? Of course. One simple but effective exercise is called the waffle roll. Okay. You sit on the Lawaf Mini and using your core muscles, gently rock back and forth and side to side. Okay. It's a playful way to massage your back and work your core at the same time. Okay, I can picture that. Yeah. It doesn't sound intimidating at all. No, not at all. I like that. Mm -hmm. But I'm also wondering, are there any downsides to using Lawaf? Mm. 
Any potential risks or things people should be aware of? It's generally very safe, but like with any exercise program, it's always a good idea to consult with your doctor. Of course. Especially if you have any pre-existing conditions. Right. It's also important to start slowly and listen to your body. You know, don't yeah. push yourself too hard. That's always good advice. Yeah. Now, earlier you mentioned certified LAWF instructors. Right. What exactly do they DO and how can they help people get the most out of LAWF? LAWF instructors have specialized training to develop safe and effective programs for all levels and goals. Cool. They can guide you through exercises, provide feedback, and help you stay motivated. Okay. They can also tailor your LAWF experience to your specific needs. Great. Whether you're looking to improve balance, strengthen your core, or simply find new ways to move your body. That sounds like a great resource. It is. Okay, so we've heard about professional athletes using it for training and recovery. Mm-hmm. People using it for sleep and stress relief, mm -hmm. and even companies incorporating it into the workplace. That's right. Is there anything LSE? There are. Okay. It seems like people are always finding creative new ways to use LAWF. I like that. Okay. Like what? For example, some people are using the Max as a meditation cushion. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. The gentle instability can actually help you stay present and focused during meditation. Okay, so it's like a little nudge exactly. to keep you from getting lost in thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anything else? Some massage therapists have started incorporating LAWF into their practice. Really? Yeah. How are they doing that? They found that the instability encourages deeper muscle relaxation, which allows them to work more effectively. Wow, so it's not just a solo tool. Right. It's something that can enhance other wellness practices. Exactly. Okay, so... LAWF, really a versatile tool for improving well-being on multiple levels. It really is. You know, hearing all these stories, I'm struck by how LAWF goes beyond just physical fitness. Mm -hmm. It's about connecting with our bodies. Yeah. Enhancing our awareness. Right. And ultimately kind of living more fully in the present moment. That's a beautiful way to put it. I like that. Yeah. It's about embracing a more mindful and embodied approach to life. I love that. Yeah. Well said. And on that note, we've come to the end of our deep dive into the world of LAWF. Wow. It's been an incredible journey. It has. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling inspired to try it out for myself. Me too. I hope you are too listening. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. Of course. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the world around you. Yes. And within you. There are... Okay, look what... For example, some people are using the Max as a meditation cushion. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah. The gentle instability can actually help you stay present and focused during meditation. Okay. It's like a subtle reminder to bring your attention back to your body and breath. I like that. Yeah. It's like a little nudge to keep you from getting lost in thought. Exactly. Are there any other unconventional uses? Some massage therapists have started incorporating LAWF into their practice. Really? Yeah. How are they doing that? They found that the instability encourages deeper muscle relaxation, which allows them to work more effectively. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah. So it's not just like a solo tool. Right. It can be used to enhance other wellness practices. Exactly. Okay. So LAWF really is a versatile tool. It is. For improving well-being on multiple levels. It really is. And it speaks to the power of working with our body's natural systems mm. to achieve better health and well-being. You know, hearing all these stories, mm. I'm struck by how LAWF goes beyond just physical fitness. Yeah. It's about connecting with our bodies and enhancing our awareness. Right. And ultimately living more fully in the present moment. That's a beautiful way to put it. I like that. It's about embracing a more mindful and embodied approach to life. I love that. Well said. Thank you. So we've come to the end of our deep dive into the world of LAWF. Wow. It's been an incredible journey. It really has. It's like I've learned so much. Me too. And I don't know about you, but I'm feeling inspired to try it out for myself. Me too. I encourage all of you listening to do the same. Yes. You might be surprised at how this simple but innovative tool can positively impact your well-being. Well said. Thank you so much for joining us on this deep dive. Of course. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the world around you. Yes. And within you.